Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to some more Flavor Universalis Netherland. Uh, we are currently crushing our way through the uh, League War. It says we're at minus eight. That is incorrect. That tooltip is busted because we are definitely more than that. We are winning, in fact. I, I dare say we are winning. I will separate piece these lads out to let them get annexed. Less tags is a good thing. Sorry, I got some hiccups going on today. Uh, actually, yep, yeah, no. I'm fine with that. Less tags in the war is better. Now we're at minus 11. <laughs> it's because everybody just keeps going around and losing a bunch of battles. But as I occupy more and more men, we're going to be in a better position. We're going to have to... Maybe we can peace out Burgundy. We'll see. Burgundy's... Uh, disease outbreak. Burgundy's pretty beefy. Or not Burgundy. Savoy, that is. Nice. We won this siege over here. That is good. That's a good thing. Now we're going to go to Liege. And let's come over here to this fort here. Interesting fact for you. My mother's maiden name is Linz. It's not spelled that way. But uh, I assume that that places me firmly in the I have German slash Austrian heritage. Maybe I have a great uncle who is a von Habsburg. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, shoot. Okay, very good. Got him to stop. That could have been bad. Matter of fact... Let's um Let's get our infantry get our cat our captain over here, our uh, general. Switch him out. There we go. Better general, less likely to get destroyed and when they get ganked event inevitably. So the more of these defensive forts we win, the better. Walls breached. Very good. Perks of having a lot of cannons. Bad side. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's a win for us. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. That is a lot of men right there. Yeah, we got to be mindful. We got... Attrition. Man, manpower really is limiting for us this campaign, huh? One of the strong things about monarchies. Minus 20 war score. Right. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. All right, and we're still giving all these over to Liege. Now, the fun part. Let's uh, try to risk it for the biscuit and get down to Savoy. Siege them down. All right, Constanz wants out be pillaged uh for three ae i can do that that is no problem less tags less and less and less until it gets down to just like a 1v1 with austria and then we will destroy their armies ticking war score will go in our favor and we win okay let's take a look at these guys look at that morale bonus goodness gracious that is crazy that's actually insane liege is a monstrous vassal i found out did you guys know? Because I didn't. We're going to scorch this province as well, just in case. And we're going to head over here and start sieging down Milan. There you go. Very good. We want to be in charge of the siege. Now, I'm ahead of time on Mill, so I'm going to barrage this fort here. We want to win this fort as quickly as humanly possible. Especially if it's a defensive fort. Those tend to be the ones that can uh, come back to bite you in the booty. If you're sieging them down, you can get wiped on them, so. And we have sacked Milan, which is awesome. That means I can probably piece them out. Very good. Annul your alliance. You are not allied to Austria. You are allied to France, so we're going to piece that one out there. And then we'll take as much money as we can from you. Very good. That is one less lad in the war. Now, let's get our armies together and come over here and uh, start winning some battles because it seems like that is what is holding us back right now. But you can see now we're only down to minus four. Uh, we should be able to actually wipe this 21 stack. Oh, they're reinforcing, but um, yep, not bad. We are now in the positive. All right. Savoy, we can probably peace out pretty soon. Let's carpet siege them down a bit. Keep in an eye, and uh, let's see here. Let's have all you guys something like this. You guys will siege that fort down. It is mountain, so we got to keep our other army here just to be mindful. Institution, we can embrace. I don't have any allies, so uh, I don't need to embrace it because we're not taking tech anytime soon. So just let it spread and embrace it for cheaper. There's no downside to that. All right, so I'm just keeping an eye on where these stacks are. Um, V, okay. Ragusa is in the war. They are full occupied. So let's just white piece them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're starting to isolate them. 
They're starting to isolate. Very good. Um, now, Savoy will definitely peace out now. We got busted spying on Austria as well, so let's recall you. I saw that we were able to spy on them again, but we're good. Um, war reps, break your alliance with Austria. I guess I'd rather you just break your alliance with Austria and uh, give me some money. Very good. And just like that, we're at 14 war score. And uh, that's assuming that we don't have the minus 13. So as soon as we can win a couple of battles, we'll be in a good spot. Hopefully you guys have learned a little bit about how uh, how we manage some of this stuff. But now I'm just looking around for uh, battles. Because obviously we can win some battles, right? This is hills. This is also hills. You know? Hills, hills... All right, I guess we'll just attack him in the hills with a general, of course. That would be very stupid. 5-1. Well, I'll take the 4-2 because he's got shock damage received as well. And uh, this is a big battle. It's a good battle for us to win. Sadly. Oh, perfect. Shift consolidate. They attack me, a minus one for them. That should be a wipe. Very good. Not a wipe, but uh, shift consolidate. Get over here and beat up on these guys. That is a wipe. And just like that... We, uh, the war score has switched, but it is still at minus 27. So we're not going to get ticking war score. Uh, it's just going to be impossible. So what that essentially means is that the war is at a point where we basically are where we need to be. Uh, we just need to get more war score. So we're going to have, it's going to be tough, but we can do this. So you have to enforce religious supremacy or else, you know, the whole war is bunk. You don't want to just take the, take the clay. So we're also giving all of our sieges over to Liege. So there's a couple of people that we need to separately piece out still. Um, Mines or Lorraine. Okay, so Lorraine, Genoa, and Ferrara. Well, we're right next to Ferrara, so let's go siege him down. Again, something like this is good. And that'll leave behind that stack there. Gonna max out on Diplo again. So some production is good. A little bit of manpower production is good as well, so let's go with that. More beer. Cheese as well. There we go. That will help our income out even more. We are so rich. Still number four in the world. After we take this clay, we'll be able to start working through our missions again over here. And then, like I said, we're going to be taking exploration in our next idea group, so... Hold on for that. We should probably let our Diplo mana stay towards the top there just to make sure that we're able to do it in a timely manner and uh, actually make some progress because we plan to do some colonization. Now I have extra mill mana as well, so I'll buy down a couple of um, whatchamacallits, finger majiggers. I'll buy down some uh, unrest if I need to. We won the Siege of Modena. Well, that was very quick. <laughs> Remember, look for battles. We're up to 47% war score without the ticking war score, remember? He's full occupied, so his uh, enthusiasm is only going to go down over time. Especially considering the fact that his uh, war exhaustion is through the roof right now. This should be a wipe, man. There we go. This will be a wipe. Very good. We're actually only at minus 16. I think you need at least 10 to get ticking war score, correct? Is that how that works? 10? Yeah. We might be able to make that happen. Let's see. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> Everybody in the war has no armies. Yep. All right. Well. That's unfortunate. Let's um bring our navy down here and go land on uh, Genoa. Sadly, we actually don't have... Uh, I'm not going to do that. Because we do not have um, fleet basing, so... Attrition would be through the roof. All right, let's split you guys over here. Make sure everybody's full occupied to the best of our abilities. Now, hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I would really like to take that clay, but I suppose I can take it later if we just dismantle now or enforce this piece right now. 
Take a little bit of money from him as well. We'll get a decent chunk of it. Yeah, this is okay. All right. So, Hesse is now the Emperor, which is good because he was not in the League War, which means we are allied to the two HRE guys. He's allied to Trier, but that's fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to no CB him. It will cost us a bit of AE, but that's okay. I'll call in Cologne. All we need to do is occupy Trier and his capital, and we will be able to dismantle the HRE for two stability. That's all it's going to cost. A little bit of... Uh, I'm going to boost my stab up. Just because we are, uh, we're not going to be taking admin tech anytime soon, so it's fine. Uh, let's have these lads head up home because we are going to have some rebels to suppress. But yeah, all we need to do is occupy this province and that province, and we can dismantle the HRE. So pretty good. Hopefully, you guys appreciate us dismantling the HRE. If you uh, appreciate it, make sure you let me know by uh, leaving a like on the video. Show some support, lads. Show some support, laddies. Some Sheagora for you. Sheogora talks like a crazy Scottish man. Our prestige is maxed out. How good is that? Yeah, look at all these little lads running around. We have no no uh, manpower to reinforce, so I'm being reckless. But I don't care. We're dismantling the HRE today. Dun 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 dun. It'll be easy. All right, let's get you guys over there. Get you guys over here, and uh, we can speed five the rest of this war because it's basically over now. Let's actually pull these lads over here and have them drill in Frieschland. Why not, right? Like I said, we're not taking tech anytime soon, so just let it spread and then embrace the institution for, for free, basically. Just save the money. Like that uh, little Dicky song, Save That Money. Dismantle HRE, all we need to do is occupy Niederhessen, which is uh, about to be occupied. Hey, how about it? See? So generally, if you're going to dismantle the HRE, if you have like a ton of prestige, what you want to do is you want to spend your prestige. But since I don't have anything to spend it on, you know, like vassals usually is the way to do it. Now you go. The, the HRE is no more. This is the HRE map mode. It is gone. Fiend. And now I can be a kingdom, which is cool. So we'll be a kingdom, which gives us an extra diplomat, extra governing capacity, which is nice. National focus cooldown, which is also nice. And uh, autonomy change, which is very nice. So there you go, lads. HRE is gone. Now, as far as this war goes, um, we don't need anything in this war. So we can uh, just peace out. Honestly, doesn't matter to me. Is there anybody in this war that needs to be... Okay, we will force religion on um, on mines. Of course. They're actually occupied by Florence in another war, which is strange, but that's okay. We will peace you guys out separately for all your money. And sure. There we go. Mines will be separate pieced for Force Religion and their money. They will accept that. There is nothing they can do about that. Now we need to siege down Cleves. With a siege general, of course. There we go. Cleve Berg is already. Oh, I say Cleves. Berg is gonna need religion. They need Jesus in their life. Protestant Jesus, of course, not the fake Jesus. Now, these guys are going to get forced religion on. There is nothing they can do to stop it. There you go. Just like that. And uh, now these lads, I uh, I don't really care. I could give their land over to... Um... Oh, come on now. I want to give this province over to um, Cologne and let them get annexed by Cologne doesn't cost me anything and it removes a tag from the the game so that is fine let's have these guys come over here and uh how about that that was some access that was some action rather and i like action so these guys are good these guys are going to suppress rebels that are ticking up slowly over time just like that we are in a good spot not bad so i will convert these guys Sadly, I think we have some zeal zealots over here. So let's um, just take this army here with Lawrence and then have you brought over there. Kill off those rebels because 
you know, they're obviously not uh, not helping anything. And there you go. Not bad, right? Oh, shoot. Really? Uh, that's not good. That is very not good. That just cost me a ton of manpower. I should take a... There we go. Much better. I think I sent them in with uh, without uh, consolidating first. So I think that was my fault. Have them come back and join up with the lads over here. Get these guys back to drilling. And just like that, we'll be able to embrace this for basically free. Yep. That's fine with me. Let's take a look at a couple of uh, manufacturers we could be building. Obviously, you want to be building cloth. This one here, 1.6. Goodness gracious, those manufacturers are going to end up paying us off huge dividends in the long term, which is good. Let's get those guys drilling again. Since we slackened those standards, we lost 5% of our professionalism, which is obviously not ideal. So let's take a look. As far as where we want to go now, these guys would accept vassalization. They have claims on these guys. These guys would also accept vassalization. Quality, plutocratic, and Christian. Light ship combat ability. Fort defense. Walls of Hamburg. Really? What do you guys have for your... They have defensive ideas, so... That alone is equal to that. And if they don't have defensive, then there's no point. These guys have siege ability. Province war score cost. That's actually kind of nice. Um, So I guess the question is, is do I want to vassalize anybody over here? These guys would not accept vassalization. I could, accept, I could vassalize them, or I could just annex them outright. So we don't need mail access through you anymore. If uh, people will send me trade power, then I suppose... Eh, he won't give me trade power, sadly. Oh, he already is. Oopsies. Um, paper will now be produced in Holland. Very good. And that's a lot of production that we have going in there as well, which is very solid. If we upgrade this, we will get trade power modifier as well as manpower. You know what? Let's upgrade a few of these dikes here. Yep. A couple of those dikes will be very useful for us. They will be done in 10 years. Each of these clicks gives it a couple years, so we'll go ahead and do that. Since we're making so much dang money, there's not a downside to it, except for the fact that we don't have money on hand. Um, that's fine. Improve relations with all our neighbors. Good stuff. Now, I should probably start considering integrating these guys, but um, I don't know. Not for now. I, I don't care a whole lot. So I need this province here from them. To be honest with you, I would be okay if uh, they're attacking for down here. So this is a reconquest or conquest war. Okay. I'd be okay if they like full annex Haino or Haino or however it's pronounced. That would actually be good for us. Let's get a missionary strength guy over there. get that stuff converted quicker our advisors are quite cheap as well so let's take a look at some other monuments around us if there's anything useful the cologne cathedral is vanilla arc de triomphe is uh later on what is this song this is good the conquistador what is that from i don't know i think i installed another music mod but i might be wrong I don't actually know. So yeah, each of these clicks cuts two years off of it, which is nice. This is cloth, so it's a lot of production. Man. I would really like to take admin. Get a little bit of money in the bank. No reason not to, right? Here we go. We're converting our island provinces, which is really good. That will help us with uh, keeping them, you know, lawful, obeying the law. Now we're just converting which ones? Luxembourg and Madeira. Very good. And they're going quickly too, which is nice. Um, damn. I guess we'll do a little more production dev. Right. Let's uh, turn the development edict on here. 
So expensive. So expensive. Vessa? Yeah, let's do Vessa. And we will go for a couple of production clicks. A couple of manpower clicks. A couple of production clicks. Especially on these provinces that are very cheap. Very good. Now we have this one here, which will give us every province in Vesa. We'll get uh, the White Horse Shipping Company, which will give shipbuilding time, ship cost, ship repair, which is nice, and uh, five naval tradition per 10 loyalty. The burgers have above 50. They are at 70, 67. Oh, I, I built a regimental camp in the wrong province. Oopsies. Well, that is fine. The contour system. All right. So this is going to be some conquest over here. This is going to be over here. And this one, we need this province here. So let's take a look down and see what else we're capable of. So we have 25 heavy ships. We can do that right now, literally. And then a naval reformer. I can do that as well. So let's go with 25. And uh, that is good. Truce of Sweden and Denmark is over. He is no longer my rival. He is my rival. Guess I have to wait for the monthly tick. He is allied to a couple of people, but it might be a good opportunity for us to attack. I think I'd rather just embargo them. Yeah, we are making really good money from trade right now. This is very solid. We're making 15 diplomat a month. And Andreas, or however that's pronounced, is not going to live for much longer, probably. Blockade impact on siege is fine. We could pop our golden era. I would probably wait until we're closer to taking tech, just to maximize how much we're able to get from it. But that's probably fine. It would have made our league war a lot easier as well, but that's okay. So this guy will be done very soon. This one will not, but I can happily spend some money to upgrade you. The big one will be the trade value. It's going to increase how much money we're making by quite a bit. All right. So election in the Grand Republic. We can choose either because the oranges will stay in power. So a status get a 661 or a 214. 661 is 13 points. This one is only a 7. So obviously we're going to go with that. Plus the Diplo is nice. Um... Monument in Brugge. So, uh, stab cost modifier as well as uh, 20 prestige. Very good. I like having high prestige. And he gained an extra mana. I forgot about that. So, yep, there we go. Sadly, born spy detection. Not as useful, but that's okay. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's very annoying. I left a unit over here. Well, that was an accident. Trade efficiency, yes, please. And Diplo mana. As soon as it gets converted, that will help out the unrest quite a bit as well. But Portuguese separatists. Let's hope not. That would be annoying, would it not? Okay, they're not going to fire. I'm not worried about them. Let us upgrade that dike there. Boom. Just like that. Now we are up to 100. It might have already updated. 101 ducats. Yes. That is crazy. There's a lot of trade over here that we still have yet to collect. So we still need to upgrade Calais. There is also not a marketplace there. So as soon as our equipment equipment manufacturing is done, we're going to do that as well. All right. And then for this mission, we need... We've got the heavies actually right now. There we go. Now we need a naval reformer, which is right here. I'll just hire him for the mission. That is fine. Enables naval professionalism mechanic. And modernize the naval forces. All right. So if you want to read this, go ahead. You focus on expanding our mercantile fleet, which gives us light ship cost and ship trade power, as well as naval force limit for the rest of the game. And it changes our professionalism. Heavy ship combat ability, which is also solid. Or our naval expertise stemming from our time as Flanders will grant us a powerful modifier. Change naval professionalism with 5%. Well, as... This one is really solid. The Dutch mercantile, mercantile Fleet. Honestly, they're both very strong. But it says, will grant us a powerful modifier. I'm tempted. 
Does it say what our modifier is? <laughs> Hello? I, uh, I do not see a uh, modifier that popped there. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. We also could probably upgrade a couple of cultures, but... Eh. Eh. Yeah, I wonder where the uh, modifier was there. And as far as naval professionalism, is that something that I can see somewhere? I do not know. All right. End of foreign reliance. Have 12 shipyards. Have six dockyards. And... Zealand is owned by me and has a workshop and a manufactory. Well, Zealand has a workshop. Does it have a manufactory? It is building a manufactory right now. Does it have a shipyard and or a dockyard? It has a shipyard, but no dockyard. So we're going to have to get that done. But uh, our borders haven't changed much, but we dismantled the HRE today, which is very solid. And uh, that will allow us to start expanding much more aggressively over here without worrying about all that nonsense. Uh, eight promoted cultures. Uh, okay, we're not going to be able to do that anytime soon. <laughs> the Dutch Miracle have 10 trade bonuses, which I think means trading in bonuses, which we can do that pretty easily. Be trading enough paper to get extra bonus. All right, so real quick before we wrap up the video, let's go to strategic goods here. Trading bonus. We have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then paper we do not get because why? We are the leading producer, but in order to get the trading bonus, we do not get. I think you need 20% or something like that. So it looks like we just need more trade power over here. Let's um start worrying about that soon then, right? Let's upgrade you as well. I'll steer a bit more trade over there. So it looks like as soon as our truce is up with these lads, we are going to cross over and uh, land in the English and the British Isles because it's about time. Ooh. Interesting. We're going to get some spy network on them. We also have great power actions. I always forget about those. Let us build some spy network on them. They're actually friendly to us, which is hilarious. Uh, I will also do this one. No. This one for sure, though, for England, right? Yep, England. That will get us lots of spy network with them. We will get a claim on at least Kent, maybe like Kent and Sussex. And uh, then we're going to attack. But that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe, ding the bell. Check out the Discord, Twitter, subreddit. It's all linked in the description below. And support me on Patreon, guys. It, it really does help me out a lot more than you might know. And uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.